So what's going on my friends on Facebook and YouTube and Memphis Entrepreneur Club. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about algorithms. How I use these algorithms on YouTube, how I use these algorithms on Facebook to basically well, even Google, even just like my internet browsing period and in my life um, and how Tinder uses these algorithms to kind of control what you see, right? So on YouTube, you're presented with a lot of videos that uh, YouTube wants to suggest to you based on your watching history, what you watch, why you logged into that YouTube channel. Um, Facebook does the same thing. It shows you content that it believes you're interested in. So if you're seeing a lot of stuff that you don't like, well, that's probably because you are friends with people that you probably don't have any common interest with or, or they're interested in things that you don't like, right? Or you browse and you go to certain websites or you watch certain videos, even though you know you don't, you don't have serious interest in those videos. So all the actions that you take on YouTube or, or Facebook and Tinder, if you are into dating and using uh, dating apps, specifically Tinder, well, uh, you get this feedback and you, you're presented different people, different opportunities, different videos, different posts based on the actions that you take. And, you know, uh, I, I hear that saying where it's like, you know, you hang out with five people, you become the sixth. Well, in this case, that kind of applies with the algorithm. You watch five videos that are similar, you'll see a sixth one and a seventh one and an eighth one. Um, so I always find a way to bypass and beat the algorithms. If you have a business on Facebook um, and you are you know, trying to grow your, your business, your Facebook page, or if you're running your business through your Facebook profile and you want to get more reach and you're wondering why you don't get a lot of reach, it's because you don't understand the algorithm and you don't take advantage of the algorithms that are in place on these social platforms. So I want to just kind of give you guys a little insight on what I do because I guess you know, it's the nerd inside of me that wants to know how this shit works. So I take advantage of these algorithms to make my business thrive for free on YouTube and Facebook, right? Um, I don't use Tinder to, to date anymore, but I have in the past and I've met plenty of people on there. Um, I've had a lot of success with Tinder in a sense that uh, when I do get matched with someone, it's a real person and they we have uh, engaging conversations. Sometimes we do meet. So for me, you know, a lot of people say Tinder doesn't work. There's a lot of um, fake people on Tinder or I match with a lot of fake people. or I don't get messages and people don't respond to me. It's because there's an algorithm that kind of uh, helps you match with the right people. But now I use Tinder to kind of take um, some ideas from it and to understand how the app works because I'm an app developer and I'm an app designer. Um, so, and I'm developing my own dating app right now. Uh, but I wanna just kind of show you guys a couple of things that um, you may not be aware of that you can take advantage of for yourself and your business if you're interested in it. Some of you might want to watch this to just kind of see it and understand it and maybe you don't care about the algorithm. But if you are one of those people that do, then hopefully you are going to enjoy some of this video. So I am live on Facebook right now. I'm going to be uploading this video over to YouTube. The video will stay on my Facebook page indefinitely. I'm not going to delete it. Um, I don't have any courses on algorithms or anything like that in Memphis Entrepreneur Club, so don't worry, I won't delete this video. You can always come back and watch it later if you don't have time right now. Um, I'd appreciate if you guys share this out or give me a thumbs up or, or something, react to the video to kind of help me get the exposure out there to someone who might want to see it, uh, tag someone even. And thank you guys for watching my live streams. I really appreciate all of your support. I am live, so I'm gonna pull this up on my phone so that um, I can respond to your comments in real time. So give me a second, let me come and find my video. Turn my volume down. Um, yes, great topic. Thank you, Matthew. Following this, I need to watch this for YouTube. 
uh, go into a ton about YouTube, man. <laughs> All right, we'll do Christian and Jerry, Matthew, and three other people have joined. Thank you guys for watching. So let me go ahead and go over to my desktop and kind of show you what I've been uh, researching with this algorithm stuff. All right, let's see here. And here we are. First, I'm gonna pull up YouTube. So as far as uh, being a viewer, being someone who watches YouTube videos, I personally have two individual accounts because I understand that there's an algorithm. All right, when people come over to my house, I have this crazy computer set up with my TV, smart TV, and my phone, my computer, my TV are all integrated to each other. Um, so when I'm watching and listening to music on YouTube or I have people over and they wanna get on YouTube, I say, hey, don't use my Memphis Entrepreneur Club account. Go up there and click on that icon and change to my label list account if you're gonna play like rap music or something. Because when I'm logged into my YouTube channel, if I'm listening to music, rap music for example, I don't want that to become a part of YouTube's algorithm for showing me more uh, rap music, but on top of that, the bullshit that's involved in the rap community. Now I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in a second. This is my YouTube channel from Memphis Entrepreneur Club. I'm gonna uh, kind of zoom in a little bit. Um, and as you can see, um, all of the videos that are here are, you know, I've got some recommended videos. It's all motivational stuff. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, Thrive, uh, Founder, Entrepreneur, Man Up, uh, Peter McKinnon, or Peter McKinnon, shout out Peter McKinnon. Coderman, uh, <laughs> Ryan Hildreth, video advice for, so what is this, video advice, okay, more motivational stuff, Gary Vaynerchuk, Alpha Male, 21 Studios, Team Fearless, Alex Becker, Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, all these are recommendations and subscriptions based on the algorithm of what I watch when I am logged into this specific YouTube channel. It kind of works on Facebook too, because when someone shares a YouTube video, I want to make sure I'm logged into this Google and YouTube account before I watch that video if it's unrelated to motivational stuff. Now I know that's complex, it's a little crazy for me to just say, hey wait, before I watch this video, let me make sure I'm logged into the right YouTube channel. But that's what I do because on this YouTube channel, I might set up autoplay and go to sleep and have this play through a bunch of random videos from a bunch of random people, right? And I don't want some bullshit to just show up in the stream while it's autoplaying, right? I want the recommendations to all be related to stuff that's going to motivate me or keep me on track for the day. I can listen to this in the background and listen to all motivational shit while I'm working. And it's not gonna throw me off because I understand the algorithm of what YouTube is gonna do by showing you stuff based on what you watch, what you like, who you subscribe to, what videos you upload, and what you talk about in your video. So it's all about having a niche specific focus. Now, if I go to my other YouTube channel, It's all about cars, technology, music. You'll see a lot of YouTube mixes from artists, lifestyle, gaming. Uh, Lil Wayne warns Jay-Z to stop playing with him. I don't wanna see this shit when I'm watching motivational stuff. And then we got this you know, 24 seven chill music. You're gonna see a lot of stuff in here about uh, some negativity because around the rap industry and hip-hop music there's a lot of negative videos that show up too with fights and vine and all this random bullshit i use this account to watch movies to watch car videos to listen to music uh to watch animated stuff to watch video games um uh, and to look at movie trailers um but this algorithm for this YouTube channel specifically shows me stuff related to what I watch when I'm logged into this, DJ Khaled. So when I go back to my uh, Memphis Entrepreneur Club YouTube channel, or let's say we're on the Label Us YouTube channel right now, and let me find something that's more along the lines of like motivation, right? Engineered truth. So. Let's say we're on the Memphis Entrepreneur Club YouTube channel and I find something that comes up as a recommendation for music. And I'm like, uh, for like rap music, right? 
I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click on this X button right here and say, I'm not interested. And usually YouTube will ask me, why am I not interested in this? And I'm gonna say, this is irrelevant. I don't wanna see stuff like this. And then my whole YouTube channel, based on me telling YouTube, I'm not interested in this recommendation, they're gonna stop recommending stuff on that channel related to music. All right, so now all of my recommendations on this YouTube channel is all about money, wealth, mindset, relationships, um, and business, marketing, etc. All right, so when I find something I don't want in the algorithm for this channel, I click on that big X. For Facebook, it's pretty much the same thing. Now, as you see right here, the first thing that comes up for me is entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Uh, Tony Robbins, Success Magazine, My First Millionaire Academy, Christopher Kai, Trey Llewellyn, okay, and then my friends posts start popping up. Why does that happen? Because I understand the algorithm, right? One thing that I do to kind of control the algorithm is I go to some of these pages and I make sure I have like 20 things um, set as like see first, right? You can go under the uh, Facebook pages for something that you specifically want to see when you log into your Facebook or a page that you want to follow. Hover over the following drop down and select see first for like 20 different pages. And you're gonna be able to be shown all pages first that are rel relative to, you know, let's say entrepreneurship in my case. When I log into Facebook, I don't wanna see a bunch of bullshit. I don't wanna see people sharing fight videos. I don't wanna see people sharing nudity. Um, I don't wanna see people sharing like negative posts. So I make sure the first thing that I see when I log into Facebook is something from entrepreneur, Gary Vaynerchuk, Ty Lopez, Tony Robbins. You know, I find 20 people and then most of my news feet will be syndicated around that all right so uh, for business practicing or for keeping myself motivated this has been very helpful for me to see things that are in line with what goals I'm trying to achieve when I do find people who post nudity on Facebook I uh, you know I find something that I don't like for instance uh, let's see if we can find something I don't think I can this is an ad for underwear um, but let's say someone posted something that I didn't like and it was nudity or it was a video of something from world star hip hop um, of people fighting. The first thing I'm going to do is click on. I'm probably going to delete the person if it was nudity. I'm more 100 percent going to delete the person if they post it like, you know, some people have that mood with the water drop emoji and it's a picture of somebody having sex and they're like, oh, man, mood. I'm going to delete that person immediately, whether or not we're friends, because I don't want to see shit like that, especially while I'm live streaming. Uh, but if I don't want to delete the friend and they're just posting a random picture of two people fighting because they have something to say about it, I'm going to click on this drop down arrow in the top right corner of their post. And I'm going to do one of three things, if not all three. I'm going to choose unfollow hide posts i'm definitely going to do that uh but if you want to unfollow them first you can just tap unfollow and then hide posts because once you have the post you can't go back and unfollow them unless you go to their page and then um more options sometimes you'll be able to see an option that says stop seeing stuff like this all right so hide post is that option i i believe the second thing that I do, if they share a video from World Star Hip Hop and it's a video I don't like, I'm going to go to World Star Hip Hop. I'm going to make sure that I don't like the page and then I'm going to um, block the page. Right. I don't want to see this negative shit from World Star. All right, I'm going to block the page when I start seeing all those news articles from Fox News and CNN that you just biased and uh, dumb and I don't want to waste my time on fake news. I'm going to hide their page altogether. So when my friends post uh, and share their posts, I don't see them. Right. And then Facebook is going to see that and work that into the algorithm of what they show me in the future. I'm no longer going to see other posts related to World Star Hip Hop's page because there are other pages that are, you know, that share all the same shit. Even celebrity pages that are managed by agencies, they share the same shit, too, of people fighting. So now when I go home. Um, I'm going to see posts from my friends, posts from um, the videos that I do watch, and most of everything is going to be pretty positive. All right. So a little more advanced with the Facebook algorithm, and you can use this on YouTube as well, is creating playlists 
and creating lists. Uh, inside of one of my, my YouTube accounts, let's say this is Milf Entrepreneur Club, I'm gonna go over to the label us, which is the one that I like to have all my music in it. Um, if you go over to my library of some of my um, playlists, you'll see that I have a lot of music playlists. I only have music playlists in this YouTube account. So if you are a YouTube vlogger, you wanna create playlists of the people that you, um, you know, let's say you vlog about photography and your YouTube account is specifically based around photography, then what you wanna do is follow only photographers. Don't follow people who, uh, you know, are in law. If you practice, you know, somebody that practices law, don't follow a hundred people that practice law. If your focus of your YouTube channel is photography, only follow photography or photographers. The same thing with Instagram. When you go to an Instagram account, which I'll go to mine right now. Like my Instagram is pretty unique. I like to, to build out Instagram grids across my entire account. Um, but let me see if I can see who I'm following. I don't think I can. Um, I'll pull up my phone in that case then and just uh, do that here. So Instagram, let's open up Air Server. We're gonna turn on some screen mirroring here. And I'm gonna wait for that to pop up. If it does, let's stop mirroring. All right, I'm just gonna exit that first. I'm gonna try to pull up my phone so you can see my Instagram account and who I'm following. There we go. All right, so Instagram, YouTube, uh, it doesn't matter where, what it is you're doing. Um, it doesn't matter like what platform you're using, Facebook. You want to syndicate all the people that you follow. As many of your friends as possible need to be in the niche that you're trying to build your business for if this is important to you. If that's not important to you, then you don't have to worry about doing all of this in such a strategic way. But every single move you make on every social platform is very, very important. Shout out in Jerry. Um, this is one of my partners that I work with, uh, but she talks about a lot of marketing and motivational stuff, but I'm gonna go over and see the people I follow. This is Memphis Marketing Agency. Uh, this is my Instagram account, right? Memphis Marketing Agency. So the main focus is, and I always recommend on Instagram specifically, maybe YouTube to, to have maximum three niches of people that you follow, pages you're subscribed to, videos that you watch while you logged into that account, um, pictures that you like, videos that you like, videos that you add to your playlist, playlists that you make. You wanna keep all of those inside of three niches. For Instagram, uh, if you have an Instagram account and you're interested in posting three different niches of things in your account, uh, maybe have one of these columns um, as one niche. So if your Instagram account is about dancing, photography, and Memphis, you want to only follow other accounts in Instagram that have something to do with dancing, photography, and Memphis. Don't go and follow all of your friends. Uh, because they're not gonna post about dancing photography in Memphis. Don't go and like all of your friends' pictures on Instagram because their pictures have nothing to do with dancing photography in Memphis. By only engaging and liking and following and sharing and uh, adding to a playlist, dancing photography in Memphis pictures or videos, because you are specifically posting about dancing photography in Memphis, when people follow big dancing photography or Memphis accounts, then um, Instagram is more likely or YouTube is more likely or Facebook is more likely to say, hey, here's an account that is related to the one that you just followed, right? I hope that makes sense. So if I go to the search and I start finding random people inside of like what's popular on Instagram, I'm gonna look for something that's related to marketing. I think this is, Let's see, let's see if we can find 
something interesting related to marketing or motivation this is a good one so house of leaders i like to follow stuff like this because we do in my um instagram account for grow memphis agency i only want to follow marketers i want to follow memphis businesses and i want to follow motivational stuff those are my three niches because in my account i'm posting motivational stuff marketing and memphis related stuff only those three things so this is a great account for me to follow if i click on follow or i'm going to unfollow them really quick i'm going to go to their profile if i click on follow now there these recommendations are going to show up under here right why do these recommendations show up because these accounts are all related to success and motivation and those accounts usually like other people's pictures who talk about success and motivation. They only follow other success and motivation pages and they only engage in other posts that talk about success and motivation, right? You won't see them engaging on a post talking about serial or modeling or video games because that's not what their account is about so the algorithm of me going in here finding pictures related to success and liking them right this builds up my affinity towards uh, entrepreneurship and success right because I'm only engaging on other pictures related to what my Instagram account is about is success motivation marketing and Memphis Okay, I hope that makes sense. So the same thing works with YouTube. When you get on YouTube and your account is meant to be related to uh, whatever your niche is, maybe it's fitness apparel, you don't want to go and follow all of your friends on YouTube. You don't want to go and follow your favorite celebrities on YouTube if they have nothing to do with fitness or apparel. Go to your YouTube account, unsubscribe to all that bullshit, create a personal YouTube account if you want to subscribe to all the bullcrap that you enjoy. In your business YouTube account or the YouTube account you're using as a persona, maybe as a public figure and you're trying to build up influence towards yourself, maybe you follow other influencers and other people in the fitness and apparel niches only. Create YouTube playlists of your favorite apparel videos from other people in YouTube, of your favorite fitness uh, influencers in YouTube right and in those playlists even if you don't really watch all of the videos you can set that playlist to public so other people can find those fitness playlists that you've created and then they'd be able to see that you curated the playlist about fitness and your account is based around fitness right when you connect your facebook page um on facebook you can like other pages as your page all right so i'm gonna go over to facebook and i'm gonna go and find a fitness page so the fitness cafe is the first thing that came up and I guess I like this um, I don't remember if I did any work for them or not but on uh, the computer you can like this as your page I don't know if I can do it from the phone so let me just go over to the computer really quick and see we're gonna find this page actually I'm gonna go over to Daniel Caesar. All right, so I'm going to find Daniel. C I think that's his name. Is that his name? D A N I E L C E A S A R. I spelled his name wrong. And I'm going to go over to pages. And there's Daniel Caesar. Now, this is a great page. I could like this um, as myself which you know that's that's fine if you do this on facebook and like a page as yourself but if you are a musician on facebook and you have a musician facebook page not your profile but you have a fan page around musician or or music production or fitness or whatever it is i encourage you to go and find other fitness pages or musician pages and like them as your musician page or as your fitness page instead of just liking them as yourself all right so if i go over and click this three dot icon you have the option to like as your page all of your instagram pages will come or your facebook pages will come up i have a lot of them that i manage but the label lust is my facebook page that has some relevance to the music industry so i'm going to only like this daniel caesar page as the label lust 
All right, so let me go and find the label us. Boom. I'm gonna like this as the label us. So now Daniel Caesar has been added to favorites for the label us. Okay, and it says that I don't like it, but my page likes it. So if I go over to the label lust, this is my Facebook page for the label lust, and it's it's mostly geared around music, um, and it's gonna show people also like. It's gonna show um, other musicians and bands. So most of the people who like the label lust also like other musician and band pages and pages liked by this page. So you can see that I like Senses, Sam & Co graphic design. All right, so based on the pages that I like as this page, uh, when other people go and like Senses Nightclub on Facebook, um, they may see a recommendation to like the label Lust because I like this page as my page. All right, so the algorithm works the same way with YouTube when you curate and create playlists or subscribe to certain people. Um, using fitness again as the example, only subscribe to other fitness pages on YouTube, only like other fitness Instagram profiles, only comment and like and share and repost other fitness posts on your fitness profile right um, on Twitter do the same thing the algorithm works in your favor when you do that as a business because when someone likes another fitness page they're gonna see recommendations for other fitness fitness pages and yours could come up if you're using the algorithm properly now with Facebook what I do is I go and make sure that the majority of my friends are all based around entrepreneurship and success but I create lists on Facebook as well this is something that most people don't know you can do right so when I go and find someone, uh, let's say I just added a new friend. Let me see if I can find um, a friend that's related to like entrepreneurship. Travis. I'm going to use Travis as the example. So you see Travis's profile. He's really uh, big on entrepreneurship. His profile picture is the same. He probably talks a lot about entrepreneurship. He's in the Secret Academy Facebook group, I believe, which is also related to entrepreneurship. So when I add this person as a friend, the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to uh, where it says friends in his profile. I'm gonna hover over that, and then I'm gonna go down to add to another list, and I'm gonna create a custom list. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me kind of zoom the video in. Uh, just a quick second. Go and find the screen capture. There we go. Okay, so if I hover over friends, we've got all of these options. First, we have close friends, acquaintances, suggest friends, and unfriend, but there's the option to add to another list. First, you're gonna have your smart lists, which are uh, identified by the lightning bolt. Now, if you put on your Facebook profile, I'm gonna go to my Facebook profile really quick. And I'm gonna go to about. And if I go under work and education, you've got all of the places that I um, have listed as my employment. I'm self-employed now, so I, I listed myself as owner operator of 901 Customs, creative director of a couple of bands and artists in Memphis, founder of Memphis Entrepreneur Club, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I once did some things with Fort Models and Abercrombie and & Fitch. I went to Full Sail University. I went to Carville High School, uh, places I've lived. So all the places I've lived are in here. Um, let's see. So all of these are created as smart list once you add them into your account. So if I go back here to Travis's page and I go to um, add him to a list, some of those smart lists are going to show up first. 901 Customs, 901 Kings, Charlie E's Band, Hollister because I worked there and I had that in my profile as employment at one point. McDonald's, Memphis Entrepreneur Club, The Label Us, Sideways, uh, Full Sail University, Boca Raton, Florida and family right i have these smart lists here because um, they were automatically created by my facebook page based on that information i put in my facebook page but i can go and add new custom smart lists uh, which i've done so not on one customs clients app developers atlanta my bros um, people that are connected with bryce and tiller so i put celebrity names in here if i know that people have a direct connection with that specific celebrity or influencer um, Camp Looking Glass, Cooks, Cosmetologists, 
uh, DJs, Dubai, people who live in Dubai, e-commerce experts, exotics, so people who own exotic cars or work in the exotic car industry, um, fashion design, founders of big um, um, Fortune 500 companies. I, I, I'm friends with a lot of Fortune 500 company founders on Facebook, so I put them in a smart list. Uh, Fuel Run, Game Design, Gary Vaynerchuk, Go Rush Rally, Grant Cardone. So people who are my friends on Facebook who work with or know Grant Cardone personally. Graphic designers, Huffington Post. Uh, these are bloggers who write for Huffington Post. I can keep going, right? People who work with Lamborghini, Las Vegas, um, Memphis business uh, owners, models, music engineers, music producers, musicians. Uh, New York, people who live in New York, photographers, prospects, Ralph Lauren, rappers, blah, 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 Secret Academy. All right, so as you see, Travis, um, I've already added Travis to my success list, which you can see by this check mark here. I'm going to also add him to the Secret Academy. I think he's in Secret Academy. Let me see. Mutual friends. Yeah, he's got to be in the Secret Academy. So I'm going to add him to my Secret Academy list. Now, Facebook is going to see this as uh, me syndicating these people to a specific list. There are a couple of things that you can do with this list, but uh, this is how we beat Facebook's algorithm with showing certain people certain posts. I have a lot of friends who are producers, music producers, and I'm one myself. But one of the biggest mistakes that I see them making in their algorithms um, or in their Facebook account that uses the makes the algorithm work against their favor is they add other producers. If you are a music producer and your goal is to use Facebook for music production, it doesn't make sense to have 4,999 or 5,000 music producer friends. Because when you go and post your promo for your music productions for sale, other music producers are not going to want to buy your music productions because they produce their own shit. So instead of adding more music produc uh, producers and being seen and being having friend requests sent to you by music producers, you need to add artists. You need to add musicians. You need to add writers. You need to add vocalists, rappers, people who are more qualified to buy your product that you're trying to sell. That way, Facebook shows your posts to more artists. Okay, so um, for me, I have a lot of different people that I add from music producers to videographers to website developers and I put them all in a curated list. Sometimes I put one person in multiple lists. Um, so what you can do with these lists, you scroll all the way to the bottom and create a new list and you can title that list. Every time you add a new person to your friend on Facebook, you put them in that list. Now, instead of me going to Facebook and saying, hey, do I know any photographers? I'm having a I'm planning a wedding and I need a photographer or or videographer please tag someone you know well what I've done is I've added photographers and videographers to their own list so when I post a status about I need a photographer I can only show that status to the people in my photographers list how I go over to my profile I say yo photographers hit me up all right and I want as many photographers as possible to hit me up, right? So since I know I have a lot of photographers in my photographer list, I'm going to change this from public. So Facebook, all right, see, I have 4,685 friends. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom out a little bit now that, um, let's see, scale a bit. All right, so when I go into my profile, you can see that I have 4,685 friends. Out of those 4,685 friends, Facebook is only going to show this to this post to the people who are um, one logged into Facebook at this time, two who have recently come to my profile and engaged on my profile, who are probably not photographers, um, three people who liked uh, the majority of the pictures that I've uploaded or who would ha have engaged on my photos the most. For the people who I talk to the most often in Messenger and via comments. So Facebook is going to use the algorithm to show this post to the people that I'm most connected with, whether or not they're photographers. And instead of letting the algorithm work its magic, I'm going to say, Facebook, no, don't do that. What I want you to do instead of showing this publicly, I want to show this to 
only specific friends. So I can set this to, let's see, I'm gonna try specific friends. And I'm gonna wait for this to load. And I'm gonna choose a specific list. I'm gonna type in photographers, boom. I want you to only show this to the people in my photographers list, post. Now, just now, photographers. Um, next time I go and post the status, you're gonna have to change this from photographers or from whatever list you selected back to public. And then I can close it. All right, so just to keep that in mind, when you do set this to um, be this post to be displayed to a specific group of people, you want to go and change it back so that the next post you make is actually public. All right, if you don't do that, you're going to be wondering why aren't people commenting on my status. Uh, but let's go over to the home section and I'm going to go down to the left hand column, which shows all of the pages that I have, all of my shortcuts. Under the explore column, we have a uh, friends list icon. I'm going to click on this friends list and here are all of my lists that I've created. All right. In these lists, I'm going to go to the photographers list. And here is a news feed that is specifically set to be non algorithmic and specifically show all of my photographer friends and what they posted. So. I'm a kind of person that's interested in graphic design, skateboarding, music, website development, photography, videography, all these different things. All right. How am I able to do 10 different things and have five different businesses I'm running and organize all of that? Well, I create these lists. Um, if today I wanted to get on Facebook and see what my photographer friends are posting because I want to go outside and do photography today. If I want today to be a photography focused day, I'm going to log into Facebook and not go to my main Facebook timeline. I'm going to go to my photography timeline. So this is going to show 11 minutes ago from my photographer friend, Sean. Um, I forget where he lives. Let's go see. Sean in... I don't, I don't know if this is going to tell me exactly where he's at. I forgot where he is. Um, but if I go over to my photographer's list 11 minutes ago, this is what my photographer friend posted. And it's a picture that he took. If I go down a little bit, um, Hunter Swift, another great photographer. He's a car photographer, a post by him. So I can see what all my photographer friends are talking about today. Garrett Sales. All right. Uh, Paul Henry Collins. It's all related to photography too deep. She's a great photographer. Ziggy Mack, incredible photographer in Memphis. Garrett Sells, Audrey in New York. Um, Sean, again, Garrett Sells, Audrey, Jacob. All right, these are all of my photography friends and what they're doing. So if I need photography, I can just go to this photography list and say, yo, I like your work. Let's work. Um, if today I wanted to go outside and skateboard and I wanted to find um, what my skateboarding friends are doing to invite those friends to go skate with me, I'm going to go over to my skateboarding list. So I'm going to go to friends list. Let's search for the people that I've added to skateboarders. And here is what all my skateboarding friends are talking about today. A lot of times it's not going to be about skateboarding because they do post normal stuff, but every now and then i'm probably going to come across a video of that somebody shared related to skateboarding um, and sometimes you know there are days where it's all just skateboard posts there's one right there so this is what my skateboarding friends are up to at the very top of this list i can go sometimes i can post the status and say hey what are you guys doing or uh anybody want to go and skate today so i'm going to go and find a list that will let me do that website developers here we go so now i'm in my website developers list these are all of my friends who are website developers so i can say and this is going to post only to my website developers timeline in facebook right so i can say hey looking for a website developer to work on a project and Facebook, instead of trying to figure out which of my 5,000 friends to show this post to, it's only going to show this to my website developer friends. So as soon as they log in, they're going to see it because Facebook is not going to question, who do you want me to show this post to? Facebook is going to say, oh, you want me to show this to your 90 uh, website developer friends? Well, we were going to show this to about 90 people anyway. So 
we'll just go ahead and show it to all of your people in this list. So as you can see right here, this is already set to show to website developers. Now, another thing that this, another way that this could work is if I go home and I go to post a status about a new uh, promo I'm doing on my website development, since I have other website developer friends, maybe I don't want those friends to see this promo, right? So Facebook is going to say, oh, you don't want to show this to your website developer friends? Okay, well, we're not going to show it to them, which means it'll probably reach more people who aren't website developers. I hope that this makes sense. So I'm going to say, hey, website, uh, websites, 20% off today only. All right, so if 90, if 50% if of my friends, um, you know, thinking about my producer friends who only add other producers which is really stupid if i go and post beats buy one get one today only and 90 percent of their friends is another producer facebook is going to show this to most of your producer friends who you engage with all the time which means the people who are qualified to buy the damn beat from you isn't going to see it which means you're probably not going to make any money by posting this so what i can do you know uh beats buy one get one i can go and change this from public to friends accept right and sometimes i'll have like this hidden from some of my friends if i specifically want certain people to see it but i'm gonna go friends accept music producers right buy beat or beats buy one get one i want to show this to everybody except for other music producers now i'm beating facebook algorithms by telling facebook yo um, this is a music production post and my goal with this post is to get money without actually spending money on ads so I want you to show this to everyone on my friends list except for other producers because I've added people now um, what I can do if people have been contacting me about music productions and they've wanted to buy them I'm gonna put them on a smart list um, as like prospects I do this with websites as well so one of my smart lists is Let's see, uh, prospects for websites. I've got another one with prospects for logos. So these are people who have reached out to me about getting a website designed by me, but who haven't paid me for a website yet. I'm gonna put them in this smart list. And because I know they want a website, when I go and post a status saying, hey, uh, website's 20% off uh, for the next 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to only show this to oops, specific friends prospects websites so now Facebook is not going to show this to anyone but those friends in that prospects list if I go back to that prospects website list let's see how many people are in there you know, I can see what what the people who have reached out to me are talking about and it's easier for me now to go back and follow up with them because I have them in a list now it's hard for me to go and follow up when I have 5,000 friends and remember damn who was it that wanted a website for me I kind of forgot let me go through all of my messages messages and try to find them well this kind of eliminates that process because this makes your follow-up a hundred times easier because they're all in one list I'm like oh shit there are 21 people on this list who I can follow up with today I don't need to go searching through my timeline and try to figure out who they were they're all in this list and I can see all those people here or I can post a status that says or I can post a status in this list page which is a news feed specifically with them in that list that says hey websites 20% off whatever all right I hope that makes sense it's a little bit different from the phone instead of going to that little uh, feed, what you do is click on the hamburger icon in the bottom right hand corner. You'll scroll down and you're gonna find, um, I think it's called feeds. All right, so on Facebook, it's called friends lists or friend lists. In your phone, it's called feeds right here. All right, so I'm gonna open this and here are all of my feeds. I can't create new feeds or new smart lists on the phone. You have to do that from the desktop. Once they're created, you can go and add people to that list. So as I get new friends, let me go back home. 
And let me try to find a, a friend that I haven't added to a list yet. Um, Ian. Ian is uh, seems like a pretty business related person. I can tap on this friends icon right here. And it gives me the option to edit friend lists. And now I can add him to success. All right, so today I want to wake up and, you know, maybe I want to be a little bit motivated and I want to see posts from people that kind of motivate me to get my ass out of the bed and start doing some work. I'm going to go to my feeds and I'm going I'm not going to go to my main timeline right here. Right. Here's my main timeline with all kinds of random people posting stuff. Right. Um, you know, my main timeline. So instead, I'm going to click the hamburger icon, go to feeds and I'm going to find success. And today we're going to look at our success feed. All right, this is a timeline specifically with those people. Nothing is greater than seeing a life change for the better because of the love and compassion you give to that person. Um, Lamborghini, okay. Um, we write a new chapter every day of our lives, but we never read that book. How can you plan to succeed if you don't read what you're writing? Okay, cool, that's, that's success related. Of course, people are going to post random stuff and then but most of the time you're going to see something that kind of motivates you because all of these people in my success list usually like to talk about success, right? And what they're up to related to the success stuff. All right. So this is a great way um, to kind of beat Facebook's algorithms. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, you can do the same thing on any social platform you use. If you found this helpful, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me go back and and see what my comments are for this video so that I can reply to those while I'm live right now. All right. So here we go. Hopefully you are going to. All right. So um, similar to my YouTube account, I do the same thing for music development business uh that's in jerry bro this is gold thank you guys um and i hope that this has been helpful for you for your marketing strategies again i pay zero cents to market my business now i have paid for ads just to do videos on advertising on facebook i've done some google stuff some youtube stuff for other clients but i don't pay for advertising which is you know i probably should but um, I get a lot of my business through word of mouth and through the algorithm. Um, a lot of people see my live streams and a lot of people see um, the fact that I do graphic design. A lot of business people add me who need graphic work done because of the way that I use the algorithm. Now, if you're a photographer and you want more people to add you around photography, make sure that you go and kind of uh, do a spring cleaning of the pages that you like on Facebook. If your goal is to become a successful photographer do a spring cleaning on the pages that you're following on instagram if your instagram account is mainly related to photography the same thing on twitter the same thing on any other youtube or blogging platform is go in there and clean out all the pages that you like um and start re-liking new pages specifically related to photography that way you can let the algorithm work for you and more people who like photography can follow your page organically. You won't have to go and worry about whether your Facebook profile is getting more organic reach because you're using the algorithm. Now, if you reach a thousand people with your Facebook page or profile or post and those and your post is about your photography services, but the 1000 people that you reach don't care about photography and don't need to buy photography from you or aren't interested in photography, then you've reached zero people. My music friends who rap and write songs, if you reached 12,000 people with your boosted post, but they don't care about that kind of music that you produce or that you're singing, then you've technically reached zero people. Don't let that fool you. So if you're paying money on ads, it all works the same way. But on your Facebook uh, page, if you're a musician, make sure you're only only following other musicians who have music similar to your taste. 
fashion similar to your taste, mindset similar to your taste. Don't go and just follow random people, random friends and like their pages on Facebook because they're your friends. This is business that you're trying to do, especially in music. Nobody pays for music anymore. So how are you really going to make money in music? It's going to be really hard, but you can use the algorithm and let it work in your favor for whatever niche you're in. Make sure you're following pages that are directly related to yours, even if they're your competition. Your biggest competition, you need to like their page as your page on Facebook because the algorithm will work in your favor when people like your competition's page, you will be recommended as a relative page for them to also like. All right, so I hope that that all makes sense. If you're not into business, if you're not trying to make money through Facebook, if you have a huge budget that you can just spend money on ads and Google and Facebook ads and YouTube ads, do that. Do what Ty Lopez and Wix are doing on YouTube. YouTube, but I'm sure you don't have that money and you need every single piece of this algorithm to work in your favor as possible then take my advice and start um, you know really paying close attention to what actions you're taking on Facebook the pictures you're liking the videos that you watch the um, the the tolerance that you have on people who post shit that you don't like do something about it delete them as a friend and say hey it's nothing personal but i can't have that on my friends list unfollow them if you don't want to delete them make sure you hide posts that they post about fighting that you don't want to see and block the facebook pages that have content that you don't like do the same thing on youtube um hit that x when when youtube makes a recommendation that is not in your favor for your business if you're vlogging about um you know cars make sure that the recommendations come coming from youtube are only about cars and car influencers right make sure you're only following car youtube channels and you make lists around cars i hope this has been helpful definitely give me a thumbs up or you know share this with someone who is in digital marketing share this with someone who owns a business or just share this to your profile i don't care share it to a group do whatever you want to do but this is for everybody who is trying to make a freaking dollar off of their craft their skill their time you can have this work in your favor and if i can do it you can do it too it's all free it's all easy if you have a smartphone and a damn computer then you have access to the tools that are right in front of your face facebook is not a social network it is a business platform for businesses to advertise to you if you are the consumer or for businesses or for you to advertise to consumers which side of the spectrum are you going to be on all right so you've got to make that decision today and if you're going to run facebook ads or any kind of ads but you're not using the algorithm to work in your favor with organic reach then why are you going to waste that money um, reaching more unorganic people who are not qualified to like your page right start using the free um algorithms start using these free tools already available to you with youtube facebook google twitter tumblr instagram whatever other apps you're using so that when you do have the money to start paying for ads it's going to 10x and boost the organic natural reach that you've already created to real people who want to buy your products right it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to spray cologne on you when you have bo you got to take a shower first all right so by running facebook and google ads and 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 you know that's like spraying cologne on your profile but if you haven't giving your profile a shower and really started using these algorithms to make your profile like to make yourself smell good in the first place then the cologne is not going to help all right i hope that makes sense peace out see you in the next video Let's review the top 20.